This is what we have all been waiting for, the Snapdragon 8 88 and Xiaomi is the first smartphone company to showcase it in their recently released flagship the Xiaomi Mi 11. Today I'll be giving you a taste of its performance against the almighty iPhone 12 Pro Max. The iPhone is rocking Apple's latest A14 Bionic chipset run on 5 nanometer technology. This is the same process node technology driven by the Snapdragon 888 chip. The Xiaomi Mi 11 has 8 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM and UFS 3.1 storage while the iPhone is packed with 6 gigs of LPDDR4 X RAM and NVMe storage. The Xiaomi is running MIUI 12 skinned over Android 11 and the iPhone is kitted with iOS 14.3. The Mi 11 is the first Xiaomi device to have a WQHD plus panel which we're going to enable here as well as 120 hertz. The iPhone is stuck at 60 hertz. We have also made sure to not optimize any of the apps in terms of battery on the Xiaomi and we have left all animation scales enabled on the Xiaomi to match that of the iPhone. Round 1 will be all about boot, fingerprint and face unlock. Round 2 will be about initial opening app speed and round 3 will be about RAM management using our fingers over here so we're going to pop gopro footage to the bottom left hand corner for accuracy i'm really excited to see who comes out on top in this five nanometer processed node technology race between the xiaomi mi 11 and iphone 12 pro max this is technic and without further ado let's go we're going to start here in round one with a simple boot to see which one can power on its phone first. And it is indeed the iPhone 12 Pro Max with 17 seconds, six seconds slower on the Mi 11 with 23 seconds there, getting its first point on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Second point after going into the app icons on the home screen quick over there. The Mi 11 has a secure fingerprint ID sensor and the iPhone has a fingerprint 3D facial unlock system. And the Xiaomi was faster every single time there, getting it its first point in round one, testing out the 2D unsecured facial recognition sensor within the selfie cam on the Xiaomi as opposed to the 3D facial recognition system on the iPhone. The Xiaomi was quicker every single time there, getting its second and final points in round one, matching both devices with two points in round one. We made sure that both phones are hooked up to the same Wi-Fi network, max brightness, as well as all apps closed in the background. Before we head over to round two and the first system app in round two was too close to call, so no point was allocated. Going into the calculator app over here, once again, too close to call, so no point was allocated once more. Zero points a piece so far in round two. The next and third system app that we're jumping into here is the camera app. Going into that one, the iPhone 12 Pro Max opened it up slightly quicker. Flipping to the selfie cam, the Mi 11 actually flipped quick over there, getting its first point. The iPhone 12 Pro Max took the snap slightly faster, but the Xiaomi saved its gallery quicker, so no point was allocated there. Going into the photos app on each phone, it was too close to call. Jumping into the actual photo, the Xiaomi actually opened up the photo quicker, but the iPhone loaded the page quicker, so no point was allocated over there. Going into Adobe Photoshop Express, it was clear that the iPhone 12 Pro Max snagged that second points over there and going into the actual photo this time the iPhone actually opened it up quicker but the Xiaomi loaded the page quicker so no point was allocated there saving both of these photos to gallery that we took with the selfie cams earlier the Xiaomi actually got that point because it says save to gallery at the bottom of the screen before it said save to camera roll at the top of the iPhone screen so two points apiece so far in round two going into Adobe Premiere Rush a video editing software app the Xiaomi Mi 11 opens it up quicker getting its third points pulling ahead of the iPhone 12 Pro Max now with double the points on four points as opposed to two on the 12 Pro Max when going into the project slightly quicker than that of the iPhone and it is really taking a hell of a long time. Guys, stick around with me for now because we're getting into some really interesting benchmarks later with Geekbench and 3 Mark. The results are really interesting, so stick around for that one. But as of right now, we're gonna render this 4K 25 frames per second clip and we're going to compress it down to 1080p and match the frame rate of 25 frames per second. We're gonna hit export over here. I'm not gonna speed things up bottom right hand corner. I'll speed it up when we get to the Xiaomi just to show you how darn fast the iPhone is. Just four seconds with that wonderful NVMe storage as opposed to the UFS 3.1 storage on the Xiaomi which did it in 13 seconds, almost 10 seconds slower than the iPhone over here, even though it's a newer device on a wonderful Snapdragon 888 chipset. UFS 3.1 still seems to render things slower. When it comes to Spotify, things were too close to call over there. No point was allocated. Going into Astral VPN, it was clear that the iPhone 12 Pro Max picked up that point. Now matching the Xiaomi with four points apiece. Turning it on, the Xiaomi actually turned it on the same time as the iPhone since the iPhone had a loading icon at the center of the screen, which disappeared when the Xiaomi enabled it. And going into Google Chrome, the iPhone 12 Pro Max picks up its fifth point. Now we'll be jumping into some social media apps, starting with Facebook. Going into that one, the iPhone 12 Pro Max picks up its sixth point over here 
Now two points ahead of the Xiaomi Mi 11. It's very strange, it keeps bouncing between the two. I guess the Snapdragon 888 doesn't look so good at the current point in time, but let's see what happens with the rest of the apps, which start to get hotter and hotter as the test progresses. So stick around with us for now. Seven points on the iPhone 12 Pro Max after opening up Instagram quicker and going into Twitter, our final social media app. Jumping into that one, the Xiaomi Mi 11 opened that one up quicker. Five points for the Xiaomi as opposed to seven on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Going into YouTube, our first video streaming app. Jumping into that one, the Mi 11 now is just one point behind the iPhone 12 Pro Max with six points as opposed to seven opening up that one faster. And going into my channel, which one can open it up quicker? It is indeed the iPhone 12 Pro Max with eight points now, two point lead once more over the Xiaomi. Going into one of my videos, the iPhone opened it up quicker, started playing it quicker and loaded the whole page quicker, picking up its ninth point now with a three lead gap over the Xiaomi Mi 11. Going into Netflix, our second video streaming app, more for movies and series. Seven points for the Mi 11 after opening it up quicker, but going into my profile, it was too close to call over there, so no point was allocated. Just a two point gap between the two once more, going into our first benchmark here, which is Geekbench 5.2.5. The Mi 11 actually opens up the app quicker, just one point behind that of the iPhone 12. Now we're gonna go ahead and run this benchmark. I've sped it up by 3,600% at the bottom right hand corner. The iPhone 12 Pro Max finishes in a minute and 58 seconds as opposed to two minutes and 36 seconds on the Xiaomi. And the iPhone was a hell of a lot better in terms of score when it comes to single core scores, as well as multi-core scores. Quite impressive for the iPhone's A14 Bionic chip there, as opposed to Qualcomm's latest five nanometer process node tech, the Snapdragon 888. Going into 3D Mark, our next benchmark, the iPhone 12 Pro Max opens this one up faster this time around and going into it, speeding through bottom right hand corner at 1600%, the iPhone 12 Pro Max picks up its 12th point with 1 minute and 9.5 seconds as opposed to 1 minute and 26.5 seconds on the Xiaomi. The Xiaomi got just over 5,000 points and the iPhone got just over 8,000 points with the iPhone getting the lead of 48 FPS as opposed to 32.8 frames per second on the Xiaomi. Once again, very impressive for Apple's A14 Bionic chip. Going into our first game of four here, Subway Surfers, which one can open this up quicker? It does take quite a while to load this game and which one is it going to be? It's so close neck and neck here, but it is the iPhone 12 Pro Max now picking up its 13th point with a five point lead over the Xiaomi Mi 11. I would honestly have never expected this, but just one thing to mention guys, look at those colors on the Xiaomi. They are just popping. They look absolutely fantastic. Going into our second game here, Temple Run 2, I sped it up a bit, slowed it back down and it was so close there. It's actually the first time that's ever happened with Temple Run 2 when no point was allocated because it was so neck and neck. Going into our second and last game, Among Us, I'm sure all of you guys have come to know and love this game. I personally loved it in 2020. Nine points for the Mi 11 opening that one up quicker than the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now just four points behind the iPhone. So in other words, there is no way of the Xiaomi pulling ahead of the iPhone since there's just one app, one game left of the 20 here. PUBG Mobile, which the iPhone does it in 11 seconds as opposed to 17.5 seconds on the Xiaomi Mi 11. Just bear in mind that the Xiaomi is half the price of the iPhone. That's something to think about. Going into our RAM management part of the test, which is round three. So far, so good for Xiaomi. It didn't keep the camera flipped over there, but that is just a setting. It did indeed keep the app open. First app that the iPhone kept open, which the Xiaomi killed, was Photoshop Express. Second was Rush. A third was Spotify. They both kept Astral open. Going into Google Chrome, once again, Xiaomi killed this one. Going into Facebook, Xiaomi killed it. No surprise over there. Instagram, Xiaomi killed it once again. Twitter, killed it once again. We have eight gigs of RAM on the Xiaomi with LPDDR5 modules as opposed to LPDDR4X on the iPhone and six gigs of RAM, but the iPhone is doing better in terms of optimizations. When it comes to RAM management, they are known for this and Xiaomi is known for really poor RAM management and that doesn't seem to have changed this time around, even though we have set all of these 20 apps to not use battery optimization when keeping them open in the background. I guess Xiaomi didn't really listen to us last time after all. So nine points for the iPhone after ending round three as opposed to zero on the Xiaomi Mi 11 since it kept nine apps open with the Xiaomi killed them. Total score here, 11 points for the Xiaomi Mi 11 as opposed to 25 for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Can't really say I'm surprised since iPhone's optimizations are absolutely fantastic. When it comes to raw speed, raw performance, we're focusing on round two over here, nine points for the Xiaomi Mi 11 as opposed to 14 for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The gap between the speed is not as much as the gap between the RAM management. I guess we're gonna have to wait for that Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro or maybe Snapdragon's newer chipset next year. Hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it a sub to the channel would be fantastic. This is Technic and I'll see you in the next one.